My name is Chris Eddy. I'm an ultrasound educator. Today we're using the Clarius ultrasound scanner to look at the IVC. We're going to be assessing the IVC for volume status and while no one study has been able to quantify exactly where to measure or make the assessment, the IVC can be assessed uh, in a fat or flat uh, paradigm. So we are going to be starting with the scanner indicator up towards the patient's head, just to the right of midline at the costal margin and identifying the internal landmark being the liver as the acoustic window to the IVC. You see the IVC running deep to the liver there. Make sure you identify the junction of the IVC at the right atrium and equally as important the middle hepatic vein should also be identified to ensure that you are in fact looking at the IVC and not the aorta. The IVC can be mistakenly foreshortened in the long axis to give it the impression of being a flat IVC in what's called the cylinder effect. And this happens when you're not in the true center of the vessel, but have brought the scanner off to one edge or the other edge of a longitudinal blood vessel. So scan back and forth to ensure that you are in the center of the vessel and this would be the true maximal diameter and that you are not foreshortening the IVC. Look at the walls of the IVC to ensure that they move during respiration and they are not coming in contact with each other which could be indicative of a flat IVC and that there is some respiratory motion which tends to dissipate in a volume overload status. This has been the assessment of the IVC using the Clarius ultrasound scanner.